Now, before we launch into the course, I want to give you a little roadmap, a course overview of some of the topics we're going to cover here. Now, keep in mind, anytime you do a course on something as big and wide and deep as PowerShell, the biggest problem by far is scratching things off a list because you're just not going to have time to cover that. And so you really have to try to boil this stuff down into the most useful information. And trust me, that's tough to do. But we're going to cover a lot of information here on the foundational aspects of PowerShell to get you up and running. We're going to start off talking about why Windows PowerShell. You're going to have to invest a fair amount of time and effort and brain cells in getting really comfortable with Windows PowerShell. Why would you want to do that? And is it worth it? And we'll talk about that. Then we'll do a little history on scripting and PowerShell and command line scripts and so forth. Then we'll take a look at comparing PowerShell with the old command environment that we've always seen at Microsoft. Then we'll talk about the real power of PowerShell under the hood, the .NET integration aspects that makes this so special. After that, we're going to go through some videos on getting and installing PowerShell. Then we'll talk about configuring the console so that it looks the way you like it to, and you can see everything and work with everything. And then we'll start to get into some of those aspects of PowerShell that tend to confuse people when they first come to this talk about PowerShell profiles and why we need them and how to use them. Then we'll talk about some of the basic PowerShell commands, things like the commandlets, get command, get help, format, get member, get child item, those sorts of things. And then we'll talk about the pipeline. If you've been around the Unix operating system for a while, this makes perfect sense. If you've just been around the Microsoft world and not working with PowerShell, the pipeline is really cool. You're going to like it, but it takes some getting used to. And then we'll talk about creating a PowerShell script and executing a PowerShell script. This is the point where most people who kind of sit down one day and say, I'm going to take a look at this new PowerShell thing and see if I like it. If they get as far as creating a PowerShell script, they start trying to execute it and finally just throw their hands up in disgust and say, why would anybody do this with their life? But trust me, there's a method to the madness, and it's really quite simple when you build it step by step. And we'll do that together here. Then we're going to talk about some of the programming aspects of PowerShell because, after all, this is a scripting programming language. We're going to talk about variables and constants, how to create them, how to deal with them, some of the unique aspects that PowerShell brings to them. Then we'll talk about comparison operators. It's a little different from most languages. Then if statements and looping on how we can use the various constructs to get the data we want. Then we'll take a look at regular expressions. Now, this is a pretty deep topic. But we're going to do a brief intro to help you understand the power of these. We'll talk about the escape character and how to use it in PowerShell. And then we'll talk about using parameters with scripts. Now, once you understand how to create a PowerShell script and execute it, and then how to create a script that accepts parameters, trust me, you're now officially dangerous and you're on your way. It's just a matter of learning some syntax and some new commands. But hey, there's all sorts of scripting libraries out there. And we can cut and paste and hack on them a little bit, add our own parameters in there, and we've got some really cool functionality with not a whole lot of effort. After we talk about parameters and scripts, I'm going to talk about PowerShell providers. Providers are one of those things that when you're reading the documentation, you tend to kind of gloss over. But we're going to cover them here in a very succinct, efficient way. But I want you to understand and grasp these things because it really is where the power of PowerShell meets your fingertips, okay? Then we'll do just a few examples of working with files and folders. All I want to do is kick off some ideas, get you thinking, show you some possibilities. Then we'll take a look at a few examples of reading and writing data using PowerShell commands. We'll look at outputting and reading HTML, XML, CSV, comma separated values. I'll show you lots of examples on making that work. Then we'll take a quick look at working with processes, starting and stopping processes and manage them. Then I want to talk to you just a little bit about Windows PowerShell and WMI. And this is another deep topic. We're just going to scratch the surface here. But I want you to understand what it is, why it's so powerful, why you want to go here next, and I'll show you a couple of simple examples that will kind of expose some of that power to you. And then we'll close this out talking about the next shiny new version of PowerShell that we can already see previews of and that's PowerShell 5, and it is offering some really incredible functionality. So that's where we're headed. We're going to cover a lot of stuff and get you up to speed on a good basic PowerShell footing. So grab something to sip on, get a comfortable chair, 
Let's jump in and get started. I'm really glad you're here.